Today I'm going to show you how to enter and submit an expense claim in Xero. Xero can handle all of your expense claims whenever you've bought items on behalf of the company that you want to have reimbursed. So this is where you've spent your cash, not the company's cash. From the dashboard on the demo company, we can move down to the bottom and add a receipt in the expense claim section. I'm going to buy a newspaper or a magazine from the news agent. And it's cost me £2.50. I'm going to post it to my stationery account. There should be no VAT on it. Um, I'm not going to use project tracking codes. I'm going to save it and add another receipt. On the same day, I travelled and I have a mileage claim. So I had a meeting with Bob the Builder and we spoke about a new project. HMRC likes to be able to verify that this is a genuine business meeting so it's always a good idea to keep your meeting reference, who you met and what it was about so that they know you actually did go to meet Bob the Builder uh, about a new project and you didn't just go to the shops. Um, I am going to claim my mileage at 45 pence in the mile and I am going to travel 20 miles. I've added an expense code for mileage claims for which there should be no VAT and I'm going to save that £9. I now have my newsagent's magazine purchase and my mileage sitting as a draft expense in my expense claim section. Now if I go back to the dashboard and go down to my expense claims, I can see that I've got two claims that are current, none awaiting authorisation and two awaiting payment. So until I go and authorise that expense claim, it will sit there as a current claim waiting for me to do something with it. So I'm going to enter into my current claim, I'm going to tick on the two items and then I'm going to submit them for approval. Now if I don't tick them, you get the error message that comes up here. So if I do tick them, submit them for approval, click on my button to move them forward, and they're now awaiting authorisation. Now if I'm a manager and I have the appropriate authority, I can go and authorise my own expense claim. If I'm an employee and I don't have the authority, I can push my expense claim through to awaiting authorisation and submit it but I can't authorise it. That's left to manager, director or business owner level. I do have authority, so here, clicking on my Way to Authorisation button, I'm going to go in and find my uh, expense claim. I'm going to approve it because I want to pay myself. And I'm going to put my payment date in. Um, 10th, I'm probably going to pay it on Thursday. And I want my reporting date to be the 31st of December. Now the payment date is less important, um, it will be an unreconciled bank transaction until it's actually cleared the bank, so I might want to pay it on the 12th, I might actually pay it say on the 20th or the 30th of December. My reporting date is very relevant because this is the date it's going to appear in my management accounts. So the 31st of December is the month that I want my expenses to be hitting my profit and loss account, I'm going to authorise that and push it through so it's ready to be paid. So now I've got nothing in current claims, I can go and view my previous claims if I want to see them, and I've got three claims awaiting payment. So quite nicely in time for Christmas, I can go out and uh, spend a little bit of cash.